be here for the start of a new school year in Joplin, Missouri, the toughest town in Dallas Green. <laughs> months ago, I stood on this very stage at this very spot for Memorial Service. That was one week after the tornado had struck. What you have accomplished in the 85 days since then is astonishing, far beyond what anyone would have thought possible, except maybe one person. <laughs> When C.J. Huff told me back in May that you were going to start school on time, I really sincerely wanted to believe him. <laughs> I tell you, he's a man on a mission and a man of his word. He says you're expecting 92% of the students to return this year. That is a great number for any school district in America. We all know that this wouldn't have been possible without each and every one of you, each and one of you that are here this morning. Whether you're a principal or a parent, a secretary or a science teacher, a coach or a civic leader, a cheerleader or a trumpet player, your determination, sweat, and optimism was critical, critical to this endeavor. On behalf of your state, <coughs> go Eagles. <coughs> ready for school has meant putting your needs and emotions second and the needs of your students first. Because you have to be strong <coughs> for them. They'll be looking to you every day for reassurance, for guidance, and for discipline. Some days they'll be a shoulder to cry on. Other days they'll be a firm hand to keep them on track. And as we all know, students rise. Today is also a celebration of the mountains you will move in the next month, in the next year, and in the next decade. Because much remains to be done in our schools. We want Joplin schools to be the pace setter, to lead the statewide push to move Missouri's public schools into the nation's top ten by 2020. We expect you to continue to lead. We need to educate our children to the challenges of global citizenship in the 21st century, to rebuild a strong and competitive economy and reclaim America's place as one of the most innovative, well-educated, and prosperous nations on Earth. Our goal is nothing short of excellence. And together, we will make it happen in the Show Me State, starting right here in Joplin. Right now, you are the glue holding things together in the wake of so much loss. In 
about 19 minutes, 14,000 people were made homeless. Thousands lost their jobs, hundreds lost businesses, 160 people lost their lives. The chocolate didn't lose its faith or its heart or its soul. The schools are the heart and soul of Joplin. In a very real way, you are the key to the future of this community, to its stability, to its growth, to its prosperity. When the schools come back stronger and better than ever, more families will want to stay and raise their kids right here. Families like Leanne and Randy Ford and their two sons, Duncan who's 15 and Grace who's 17. The tornado destroyed their home, all their belongings, and Randy's demo. In those first chaotic weeks, they did some soul searching. They thought about moving to Carthage, or Web City, or even the West Coast. In the end, they knew there's no place like home, no place like job. When families like the Fords and countless others like them stay and rebuild, businesses stay and rebuild. Family-owned businesses like Jim Bob's Steak and Ribs have already started. stories we all have from this song. I was out at Stacy and Steve at Jim Bob's a week or so after the tornado hit because they were one of the businesses that had been rebuilt. And we were literally standing there next to what didn't exist. A pile Now the eyes of the world are on Joplin once again this week. And there's a lot of wonderful things for folks to see. They'll see transformation of a big empty box store into a sleek high-tech high school. Thanks to the generosity of people all over the world and the genius of architects and designers who saw that and then made it happen. And thanks to the generosity of people from throughout the world on the other side of the planet Joplin will be giving 2,200 new laptops, one for every high school student. They'll see hundreds of little kids marching down the halls of Cecil Floyd, Kane, and Emerson Elementary with brand new backpacks stuffed with donated school supplies. They'll also see the best of the human spirit in action. They'll see what people with common sense can accomplish when you put common good before self-interest. And they'll see the unstoppable forces of tenacity, Standing team we've got here at the Joplin Schools. Now, educating our children is a high call. And those who answer the call are American heroes. Public schools have always been and will always be a beacon of hope and opportunity for all. No one in 
gets turned away. Some children come to school hungry, homeless. Some bear the burdens of poverty and neglect. But when a child of want and a child of wealth walk through Joplin's schoolhouse doors, they enter as equals. Both precious. everyone in this auditorium and thousands more. It includes the legions of carpenters and masons, electricians and plumbers who work around the clock to get walls up and lights on. Artisans and architects finish the job. Folks that got water in every school. It includes scores of businesses that dug deep for cash, football gear, books, whatever it took to get Joplin schools open for business even if their own businesses were still struggling to get back on their feet. The team includes the doctors and nurses, technicians and cooks who have pledged to stay and care for this community until a new hospital is built. The team includes every family and every student, whether they're living in a FEMA trailer or a house on the hill. And it includes the hundreds of churches and thousands of pilgrims still making their way to Java. More than a thousand Boy Scouts from across the Midwest put 10,000 hours in Joplin schools a couple of weeks ago, painting playground equipment, spreading mulch, and picking up debris. The temperature hit 106 that day. A fifth grade teacher drove down from Central Michigan, 850 miles away, to help unpack and assemble furniture at the new high school before her own school was back in session. There were hundreds of stories just You know, disasters happen every day around the globe. So what is it about Joplin that draws people so powerful? I'll tell you what it is. The people of Joplin never acted like victims. Not one, not ever. Yes, a terrible tragedy occurred and the losses were staggered. And you stepped up with courage, determination, and true grit. You started looking for opportunities to make Joplin even better. As great as the needs were and will be, you never took it for granted that the world owed you something. You know that the only way to get anything in life is to work hard for it. I'm here to tell you, you work hard for it. You put your shoulders to the wheel and you haven't stopped. showing them from great adversity, great lessons alone. You're showing them that when you get knocked down, you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you keep going. You're showing them that hard work really can turn dreams into reality. And I guarantee you, those lessons will stay with them for the rest of their lives. Not just in their heads, but in their hearts. 
there's a lot of uncertainty in this life. We can't control the weather. We don't know when the first kid will be able to die from the swimming pool coming down the park, or when the first new house will be finished. We don't know when know how many children will show up at the right schools or the wrong schools. Joplin, Missouri, can move mountains. 